What is up, folks? Tristan Gaming back with another episode of Valheim Mods Weekly. The show will help you figure out what mods are good for you. And this week, as you can see here, we have got a few little buildings that we're going to go over and then one really cool mod at the end. But before we jump into anything, I want to take a second to say thank you to everybody who has liked or subscribed on the content. And also thank you to the mod authors, because without you guys or without the people who create these cool mods or these really cool buildings... I wouldn't have a channel. So with that, we're going to go ahead and jump into our first mod. And as you see here, our first mod is called Lighthouse by Maggie Benna. I don't know how I should even try to start pronouncing that. But this is a really cool building. Now, it doesn't have anything inside it except just a bunch of fires up at the top, which we'll go up there in a second. But the reason I like this is because you can use this to mark areas of interest, like over there for the trader. Now... I've got everything turned off. If I go ahead and I turn on my HUD, but without having the compass there, you're not really going to be able to see easily. Now, you'll see it on the map, of course, but you're not going to be able to see easily from a distance. Stuff like that. But what this building does is you can use it. I go ahead and spawn it in. You can use it from a distance to track and mark where stuff is because you'll see the fires are going to be showing up before most everything else. Like If you look on the, look on the map on the bottom right, I can't see the marker for the trader, but I can see, well, other than the fog that came in, I can see the fires. Now I can see the trader, but I could see those fires from further away than I could see the marker for the trader. So that's why I like that, because of how stuff works, like, visually coming in. But it's really cool to, oop, did not mean to do that, but you come in here and you get to see all the cool, like, all these little fires, and it does shine out a good, a good amount of light around at night this thing really lights up and that's why it's also really good is at night you know you have a trader mark stuff like that you can put these around at night it's really going to light up so if you don't have a portal and you're just out sailing around and you spawn these in you get to see some really cool little stuff with these that doesn't do a whole heck of a lot but what it does it just you know stands out really well lights up and it just looks really pretty you can put this behind a normal building and just have cool little light everywhere but with that we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next mod Alright folks, so our next mod is called Japanese Castle by Relichi Kilvini. I hope I got those names right. But um, it's a really cool mod. There's not anything inside it. Uh, it is kind of a blank slate that you can do whatever you want with. It's got a decent amount of area for you to be able to do different stuff. Like you've got stuff here, big open room. And you can come up this. And you've got this huge open room here you can use for crafting and all different kinds of stuff. You've got a little room over here with some kind of a weird little um, lifted up thing. You can make like a something with that, I guess. And then you've got here, you can get out and run around the outside for the little top area. Or not the top area, the uh, first little level. And we're going to go ahead and come in here if I can work my way around. And then you come up to the top. You have another little way out here to run around on this area and do stuff another little open area here you could make you know living quarters or what have you and that's the cool thing about this is too is you can actually build in and do more stuff around here if you wanted to to really fill this in and do whatever you want and the reason i like this is because um a friend of mine uses this mod on his server as kind of like a little public base and it's got everything, the, all the crafting stuff you could possibly need. It doesn't have uh, any like housing, you know, beds, stuff like that. But it's, it does have all the crafting stuff. It has a whole bunch of stuff in there for like for the people who play on his server to use. Like if they need to come in, you know, if they need some wood and stuff like that, they can come in there. And he's got stuff set up to where they can they can come in and trade out wood or other resources for stuff. And I don't know if you've ever seen uh, Neves Gaming and how Abstro's got his little trading hut stuff he's my friend kind of has stuff set up like that but he uses this poi for and i say poi so used to seven days to die he uses this building for it because it's so big you have so much room to do so much stuff with and that's exactly what he's done he's done a whole bunch of stuff with this which you know it's really cool because it gives a massive amount of room to do stuff with you you really have almost unlimited options of what you want to do here just because of of how cool this is you have a little bit, you know, storage area over there if you want it, and back out here to the front. So, it's a it's a nice building. It looks really well, uh, or it looks really good. Uh, the aesthetics were really well done on it, I think. Um, 
I don't necessarily know if it actually meets the computers going slow. I don't know if it meets the uh, Japanese aesthetic completely. Um, I'm I'm an American, so I've, I've I've never been to Japan. I've been to Korea, and it looks similar, but you know, that's kind of racist to say, but. From what I know, it does look fairly similar. I mean, a lot of those buildings and a lot of stuff, as far as I know, share at least some similarities. I'm not going to say they all look alike, but they share some similarities. But with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, folks, as you can see here, our next mod is called Craft House by Megabina. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I, I really don't think I am, but it uh, it's, it's a weird name. But this is a super cool little mod that it adds the little house in and all it is is for crafting that's really that's literally all it has in it it has the little workbench here it has the um the artisan's table there it, it has the uh little fermenting barrels there you've got your little stone cutter some storage stuff you know for storing things it's got the kiln the forge here cooking stuff and then the smelters like that's so literally all this place is for is just for you know crafting stuff which this is also really good just like the last mod if you're playing on a server and or you're a server host or something like that you want to have a building that you know people don't have to worry about having their own crafting stations they can just you know you have one central area set up as a crafting area this works great because people can come here they can repair their stuff so then it just lets people have their own little small living Looked like somebody was doing some damage out there. And I gotta get a new computer soon. My this little this little laptop can't Oh crap! There's a goblin. Hey, screw you, dude. My little computer can't uh can't handle this. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's the cheater sword. It's a cool little weapon. Spawn it in to take care of stuff while I'm out and about but so this is a cool mod and I like this because it works really good for having like um, a community place a community crafting area or it not even necessarily a community crafting area if you're playing with a bunch of friends and you know you might not have strangers and stuff but if it's just you know a group and a, uh, you and a small group of friends you could have this instead of having everybody have crafting stuff or you know however you play you can have something like this and let it just be the crafting area and let people have their own small little houses for just you know living in and stuff and that's kind of what we've done as well me and my friends that when we play with this like I actually have one of these now inside of our little uh, housing area I have a little house uh, me and Luna I should say have a little house together and then uh, Garnix and Lynn have their own little house and we have this that we we use as our own little like little crafting area so it works it works pretty good but with that we're gonna go ahead and move on to the last mod all right folks as you can see here our last mod is called odin's potions plus which try saying that 10 times fast uh, sorry sorry it's by grave bear and it's a really cool mod that adds in like 14 different potions to the game uh you've got these three little lesser ones here and then you've got some mediums and then you've got graders or grand i'm sorry used to playing um used to playing different games where it's like lesser medium greater and then like max or ultra or some crap like that like different versions but so how it works is you've got the three lessers you craft here at the workbench and as you see like the lesser spiritual healing vial does two health or 25 health instantly the healing tide 25 health over 10 seconds and then the stamina 45 stamina so they're easy little potions to craft you see the the requirements aren't too expensive on them this one's probably going to be the the most expensive just because of how many raspberries it takes versus the lesser one because it's easy to gather up you know three or four raspberries and then over here at the cauldron you're going to craft the mediums and the grands so you've got you know these medium ones here like you've got the medium healing tide which 45 health over 10 seconds the stamina is 90 the medium 50 health instantly you know you've got a stealth so you sneak sneak for you know 60 seconds a little bit better and then 100 health for the grand um 95 health for the healing tide and then 150 stamina and there are some that are made with mead so i've got actually got the uh, mead firming uh fermenting right now you've got a mage light potion 
Uh, it's not ready. Poop. But you've got a uh, Mage Light Potion, which, you know, makes you super shiny for... Um, this is super shiny. It puts a light around you for about 10 minutes, or 2 minutes, almost at 10 minutes. So, I mean, it does, like, these are all really good mods to use. If you combine these with some of the other mods that I've shown, like the um, the runes, all these different stuff, like, you can actually really create an awesome RPG with a lot of these mods. And actually, I might end up creating a playlist that's, like, the ultimate RPG mods, just to make, like, this an ultimate RPG with all the different stuff you can do. But these potions are really nice to have if you're out and about doing stuff. They stack up to 10. They don't have a high weight. So you could actually sit here and like, I'm gonna come over here. Hey, come here, come here. I don't wanna set myself on fire. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna craft. I guess I can only craft one more. Oh yeah, I'm out of cloud berries. But you could actually stack these up pretty high um, in your inventory. And then while you're out and about doing stuff, you have them on your hot bar. Because I bet not as many people have as many weapons and stuff as I have. Inventory is probably not always as full like mine is. But you have them on your hot bar as you're out and about. You start taking some damage. You're out fighting goblins or something like that. You pop a potion. Especially the stamina ones. If you need to run away and you don't have the stamina, pop a potion and then jet. You know, gives you a chance to run away, heal up a little bit. You know, pop a healing potion and stuff. So it works. These work really good in a clinch situation where you might need that extra time. But with that, folks, we are done for the week. Make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have fun. Take it easy. We'll see you next time.